Welcome everyone. My name is Melanie Allen, Emerald Ambassador, and I'm so honored to have Vicki Flanagan on the call tonight. I went to a Plexus Boot Camp probably about six months ago, Vicki, wasn't it? Or so, it's been a while. Anyway, went to a Plexus Boot Camp and I was blown away by her product knowledge. I've heard a lot of people over the last two and a half years talk about the products, but never as thoroughly and as good as Vicki. So I'm so thrilled to have her on tonight to share with you her top tips and all the information on the, on the products and all her knowledge. So Vicki, I'm gonna pass it over to you. You're just gonna unmute yourself. There we go, yay, oh, I know. Forget that little that, unmute button. When was that boot camp? Um, it was in the spring, I wanna say it was either um, January, huh? February. Okay, yeah. Maybe February, okay. yeah. It was yeah. really good. Because we did, I did a I did a couple back to back. So, anywho, I'm super excited to be here with you guys tonight. Um, just so you know, I'm an accountant by trade. Uh, worked in the retail business, so no, I do not have a medical background. Don't have a chemistry background. Um, but in the personality sector, I'm a red green. And the green in me um, wants to research the product. So when you say to me, well, you need to take this because it works, my brain goes, why? Why does it work? Like, how does it work? I need to know the, how, the whys and the hows. Um, so I've kind of taught myself all of this. I've researched a ton of stuff. I love to go to PubMed. Um, I love to go read National Institute of Health articles. So some of you may read leadership books. I go read um, National Institute of Health articles. I'm a little insane that way. Um, so anyway, if you've got a product question, um, you know, you're more than welcome to shoot me a message because I might have an answer for you, but it's totally Vicki's opinion, okay? So everything you're going to hear tonight is Vicki's opinion based on what I've researched, and you're more than welcome to ask questions um, kind of when we're done, okay? So I'm going to kind of run through every product except Edge. Um, I haven't done this presentation since we went to convention, so I don't have Edge in here. I don't have the new product in here. And like, I'm driving home from church, and I'm like going through my brain what I'm going to talk about. And I went, oh, I didn't put Edge in there. Oh my goodness! And we went to the pumpkin patch this afternoon, so I have done zero plexus today. Okay, that's the whole nooks and crannies. Yep, zero plexus today. Yep. So guys, I'm going to share with you my screen. Um, here we go. And we're going to get started. So yeah, there's my disclaimer right there. This is Vicki's opinion. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> Plexus Slim, let me make it big for you guys. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. And then I have to move you so I can actually read. Okay. So Plexus Slim, here we go. You know, so it truly was initially made, you know, to regulate blood sugar and maintain healthy blood pressure. Now, a lot of this stuff we can't say anymore, but like I said, this is Vicki's opinion. This isn't compliance talking to you. It will promote cholesterol and healthy lipid levels. We know that. It has alpha lipoic acid in it, guys, which is an antioxidant and an anti-inflammatory. So if you struggle with inflammation, you will struggle to lose weight. Did you know that? And you know, some people that maybe have a little arthritis and they take slim and they're like, oh my goodness, my joints don't hurt as much anymore. It's the alpha lipoic acid that is helping those people with arthritis because it's helping to take away the inflammation that's in your body. Slim does have Garcinia Cambogia in there. It doesn't have a super duper crazy amount, okay? Um, but Garcinia Cambogia blocks fat and it suppresses appetite. Okay, well, how does it do that? Guys, it inhibits an enzyme that the body needs to make fat from carbs. That's how it does that. Um, when supplementing with chromium, you may, okay, experience mild gastrointestinal upset. That's a nice way of saying you may have diarrhea for a couple of days, okay? Because the chromium is what's trying to flush the sugars out of your body. And if you are unhealthy, you are a sweet tart addict like I was, okay? I had a lot of sugar running around. Guess what? When I started slim, you know what I had for two days? Diarrhea. Now, I didn't think anything of it. I was kind of like, well, this is very bizarre. What is this? But, you know, I just went, whatever. That's where that was coming from. Um, the other, th whoop, the other thing about slim, the chromium that's in there is chromium polynicotinate. Blech. Okay. And if I don't pronounce all these right, that's okay. Like I said, I'm not a chemist, right? Don't have that whole background, but I attempt to. 
Um, but this type of chromium, it stimulates the metabolism of sugar, fats, and cholesterols in the body. So that's why we see people losing weight because we can burn some sugar, we can burn some fat, and that's why we see cholesterol coming down. And there are actually major hospital and university studies that suggest supplementing with chromium reduces body fat. And that's why there are so many supplements out on the market now that are starting to put chromium in their product. Guys, you just need to watch the, the, what variety of chromium is in the product, and ours is good. Um, it's just, you know, that po chromium polynicotinate, that's the good chromium for you. Um, you know, what we all love about Slim, you know, if you're a breastfeeding mama, if you're a pregnant mama, you can take this product. Who all wants to say, I take a product that if you're pregnant, you can take, or if you're breastfeeding, you can take. I want to be that person. I want to be able to take a product. And that's what we love about Slim. Um, you know, it doesn't have caffeine added. It's not a stimulant. And it's not a meal replacement. I think the way it's packaged sometimes, some people think it's a meal replacement. It's not. Um, accelerator. It can be a companion product to Slim if your um, one of your goals is to lose weight. Accelerator jump starts your metabolism. It has green tea in it, which is going to help boost your metabolism to accelerate weight loss. Um, it's going to increase your energy. You can take up to two, you know, you can take two pills. I can tell you, I absolutely love my accelerator, but I can only take one a day. I cannot take two. Um, even though two is equivalent to a cup of coffee, the caffeine that's in there, you know, that green tea, it's a little bit different than coffee. I can't take two of these things. Um, it does have 5-HTP in it. It is a mood enhancer. So if you come across someone who is on anxiety meds or depression meds, you need to have them talk to their pharmacist about the medication they're on if they want to use Accelerator. The reason I say pharmacist, um, pharmacists are trained to understand drug interactions. Doctors are not pharmacists are. So if you send somebody to a doctor, you know what the doctor's going to go? Nope, it's a supplement. Don't take it. If you send somebody to a pharmacist, they're more than likely actually going to look at it and tell you that it's probably okay. Um, one thing that we tell all of our customers, if they're going to take Accelerator, they need to start their day with 20 grams of protein for breakfast because can this product make you jittery? Yes, it can. So when I get a phone call from someone that goes, oh my goodness, I took Accelerator, and I'm like shaking like this, what do I do? I ask, what'd you have for breakfast? The typical answer is, oh, I skipped breakfast or I had a bagel. Guys, Accelerator and Boost need protein to help metabolize the product. And if you don't take enough protein with them, you will feel jittery. So when you get that phone call from someone saying they're feel jittery and oh my goodness, you know what you do? Oh my goodness, that's awesome. It means the product is working. You didn't follow my directions for breakfast, did you? And you'll kind of hear a pause on the other line. And then you can walk through, this is what you're supposed to be eating for breakfast. Remember, remember that conversation we had? Um, just, you know, something to know about Accelerator. It is not recommended if you have high blood pressure, nor is it recommended if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Because it, stimul because it boosts your metabolism, it can boost your heart rate, and that's why we don't recommend if they have high blood pressure. Now, do people take it even though they have high blood pressure? Hands down, they do. You just want to protect yourself and say we don't recommend it. The next product, Boost. Um, this product we usually see, um, and I'll just tell you my personal opinion, I don't really care for Boost. I've tried it, um, but I'm not an exercise person. If you're an exercise person, you probably love Boost. And this is what my two years with the company that um, I've come across. If you're an exercise person, more out, um, active, you probably like Boost. If you have a more sedentary lifestyle or your job is sitting in a chair, you probably like Accelerator. Um, you know, this one has Herba Mate in there, which is the stimulant that's going to help with weight management. Um, it's got, um, you know, this tangerine peel. It's got lotus seed. Same thing. You need 20 grams of protein with this product. And it also is not recommended if you have high blood pressure or pregnant or breastfeeding. Now, can you take Accelerator one day and take Boost the other day? Yes, you can. Can you take Accelerator and Boost together? 
No, not recommended, okay? Um, so take one or the other, but not both. Block. We love block and we love the new version of block. You know, it's going to reduce your body from converting glucose by up to 48%. How does it do this? It has white kidney bean extract in it, which blocks an enzyme your body makes that turns the starch you just ate into sugar. Sugar, if your body doesn't need it, your cells don't need it, you know what sugar turns into? fat okay so we like the fact that this product is going to block starch from turning into sugar which turns into fat um, and it's the white kidney bean extract that's going to do that you can't go eat just bowls and bowls of white kidney bean guys it's not quite the same this is a white kidney bean extract it's a little more intense okay it also has a brown seaweed in there and that's what's going to make you feel fuller um, if you're actually drinking the water that you drink when you take block. So if you listen to your body, that seaweed is going to fill you up. Um, if somebody struggles with constipation, that seaweed can possibly compound that constipation issue. So if somebody struggles with constipation and they want to try block or take block, they need to up the amount of BioCleanse they're taking before they take block because it will block them up in a very bad way. Now, here's some cool research I want to share with you. Did you know cigarettes contain half a teaspoon of sugar in each cigarette? There are studies out there that will show you that. Do you know what the number one, um, the number one market for refined sugar is the processed food industry? Do you know what the number two buyer of refined sugar is? The tobacco industry. Can you believe it? The tobacco industry. And there are studies out there from hospitals that are showing that the sugar is almost as addictive as the nicotine. And that's why we're starting to see success with people who are smoking. If we can get them to take block when they want a cigarette, go take a block. Okay. Don't think about, well, I have to take it at breakfast, lunch, or dinner. When you want a cigarette, go take a pill, go take a block. You want another cigarette? Go take another one because it is reducing their cravings for cigarette because of the, because it's blocking that sugar. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But I've got four people on my team that have quit smoking because of block, which is just totally awesome. The other thing, and I got this from Ame Darling and we absolutely love her. because She's a master nutritionist. Um, but you can take block before bed if you ate late in the evening. You know, you really shouldn't eat past about 6, 6.30, but we do. I mean, like we went to church this evening and then ate after church, so we were eating dinner at 7.30, okay? Way too late to be eating dinner because what does our dinner have? Probably it's got some starch, got some carbs in it, and so you can take block before bed if you need to because that because when we go to bed unfortunately we probably still have food in our stomach and so as we're sleeping your body is digesting that food now as it's digesting that food all of a sudden it comes across this sugar do your cells need this sugar no you're not up and moving around so what's it going to do with that sugar it's going to store it as fat you don't need any more of that, right? So if you take a block before you go to bed, it's going to help your body get rid of that sugar that you don't need because it's going to prevent that starch from turning into sugar. I got that from all my darling because we are kind of of the mindset we have to take it before our breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Guys, you can take it before bed. So just want to share that little piece of trivia with you. ProBio 5, we absolutely love, love, love this product. It's basically three products in one. It's got five good probiotics in it, okay? Five strands of good flora, the good guys that are going to go back into your gut that we all need. It's got four enzymes that are going to help kill the bad guys that we don't need, and it has an antifungal. Now it also has B6, B12, and vitamin C in there, okay? So if we have leaky gut, or if we have a gut that's not healthy, and I would venture to say every person on this planet has that. We have guts that aren't healthy. We need the probiotic because the enzymes, the candida, hopefully you've heard of candida yeast, okay? It's the, one of the bad guys. The problem is it has a prickly outer shell and it has a very hard outer shell similar to a cockroach. 
Well, just because you're putting all these good probiotics in there, it doesn't do anything to that hard outer shell, doesn't even phase it. So what do you need to dissolve this hard outer shell? Enzymes, it's what dissolves things, right? That's why they put like OxyClean or some in laundry detergents now, they put all these enzymes in laundry detergents to dissolve stains, to dissolve all these oils, you know, you spill grease on your shirt, you need an enzyme to get that out. We need an enzyme to kill candida. And the enzymes actually drill holes through the outer shell of candida and kills it, okay? And then we're taking BioCleanse to flush it out. And then with the probiotics, also putting all the good guys in our gut. That's why our probiotic is so powerful compared to all these others on the market. That's why hopefully you've seen the little pudding test. And you see our probiotic, it's made the pudding real runny because it actually is working. You know, um, people say they sleep better when taking our probiotic. Why is that? Because our probiotic, a probiotic can help boost the production of melatonin, which is the relaxation hormone that your body should make when you lay down to go to sleep. So that's why people are sleeping better with our probiotic. You know, another little piece of trivia, if you don't sleep well, you're going to struggle to lose weight because your body needs restorative sleep. So if you struggle with inflammation, you're going to struggle to lose weight. If you struggle with sleeping, you're going to struggle to lose weight. Probiotic. Why do we say take it before bed? Because of the enzymes. We want it to truly go through your stomach, get it into your intestine, and let it do its, let it do its thing. If you take it on a stomach full of food, the enzymes are going to start working on the food that's in your stomach, and we don't want that. We want it to truly pass through your stomach and get into your intestine and start working. That's why we suggest taking it right before bed. The other thing, maybe if you're taking four probiotics, if you want to change something up, take two at night and take two in the morning when you get up and then wait 30 minutes before you drink your Slim or eat your breakfast or something like that. Um, also a tip I got from All My Darling is you don't have to take all four at night. Take two in the morning, two at night. BioCleanse, you know, it's our little partner to the ProBio, right? Um, hopefully you've heard three cars go in the car washes. We need three cars to come out. This is what BioCleanse does. It's not a laxative. You know, we, I hate the name BioCleanse because people kind of go, oh, it's not a laxative. It does have magnesium in there, which is what's going to help people poop. Okay. But it truly is, it's, it's it's just, it's normal. It's like, oh, this isn't so bad. It also helps oxygenate the body. And there's research that suggests that if your body is, if your cells are properly oxygenated, cancer cannot live in that oxygenated cell. Okay. Um, you know, that's why we take sugar out of diets because oxygen, your body doesn't function properly with so much sugar. BioCleanse helps oxygenate the body. And I'm of the mindset of, you know what, if this product can help me not get cancer, I want to take it. Um, but we really want to pair it with BioCleanse so that we truly get it done right. Um, you know, should we take it separate from ProBio 5? There's mixed results on that. I can tell you I take mine together because I forget to take it during the day. Um, so some people take them together at night before they go to bed. Some people separate the BioCleanse from the ProBio 5. Um, I know that the makers of the ProBio 5 and BioCleanse initially came out and said that they should be separated when we take them. I've had results either way, so I think kind of what works best for you, as long as you get the product in your body, it's going to do what it needs to do. How many of these can you take? Let me just tell you that if you struggle with constipation, I have a lady on my team that takes 10 BioCleanse a day because she struggles with constipation. So um, don't be worried that, oh my goodness, it may be way too much magnesium and you're going to overdose on magnesium. If you've taken too much magnesium, you're going to become, number one, very nauseous, and number two, you're going to get diarrhea. Most people who struggle with constipation have never had diarrhea. They probably would love it. Um, so that's, you know, I've got people that take eight to ten of these a day because they've really struggled with constipation. So if four isn't working for you, go up, so, you know, six, eight, see what that right number is, and that's how many you should be taking.
Um, runners are finding that if they take BioCleanse before they go on a run, that it's helping energize the body. It's probably because it's helping oxygenate the cells. Um, so it's also a very interesting tidbit from people who are running and starting to take this product before they go work out. Um, Plexus 96, P96, this is our, you know, our shake, comes in two flavors, chocolate and vanilla. It's got vitamins and minerals in it. It's made of whey protein, which is the good protein to have in it. Um, and then the fat burning recipe, which is just a great way to have breakfast and kind of kickstart your day to make sure, number one, that you're eating enough protein. Packet of Slim, packet of your shake unsweetened coconut milk, preferably carrageenan free, and a cup of fruit. I try to avoid bananas at all costs. If you're a diabetic, one of the fruits the doctor will tell you to avoid is banana because it is the highest glycemic index of any fruit. Um, so I tell my team, if you want fruit, go for it, but let's choose berries, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. They're really the best fruits for you because even though it's a natural sugar, your body looks at it and sugar is sugar. So we, um, in my house, we avoid bananas, lots of berries, what we eat because I want the lowest amount of sugar um, that's going to go in there. X Factor, absolutely amazing vitamin because of the aloe. Um, aloe increases absorption of the vitamins, of the minerals, of the nutrients um, from our products, from the food we eat. Um, that's why we see people can tell a difference on our vitamin because of the aloe. It has a full dose of vitamin B, of vitamin C, and a folic acid, but the folic acid is a methylated folate, which someone who has the MTHFR gene mutation is very important. There's approximately, they think, doctors think that 40% of our population has the MTHFR gene mutation. What that means is their body cannot absorb folic acid. They have to have methylated folate. Their body doesn't methylate folic acid like it should. Therefore, they have to have it already methylated. Um, women who struggle with infertility, struggle carrying um, a baby, probably have the MTHFR gene mutation and may not know it yet. Um, because the doctor will say, you know, let's put you on a folic acid supplement. And if their body can absorb folic acid, it absolutely does nothing for them. That's why I absolutely love X Factor, because if you don't know if you have that gene mutation, why not take something that already has methylated folate in it? It has a full dose of vitamin D and thiamine, which are important if you have thyroid issues. If you have thyroid issues, you're probably low in vitamin D and low in thiamine. Um, and if you're deficient in vitamin D, you also will struggle to lose weight and you'll struggle to absorb calcium. So even though, you know, people will ask, well, your vitamin doesn't have calcium, it doesn't have iron in it. You know what? You're exactly right. But we get enough calcium and iron from our diet if our body actually absorbed it. The aloe and X factor is going to help your body absorb the calcium and iron it needs from your diet. Our body cream, you know, it's got this spirulina algae and it's got activated charcoal in it. Um, spirulina algae is rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Therefore, we start to look a little younger when we're using it. Activated charcoal is going to help, you know, get rid of some toxins. So someone who struggles with psoriasis or with eczema or with acne, this product is very wonderful for them because the activated charcoal is actually going to help remove some of those toxins. All those three, you know, issues are is your body's way of releasing toxins, especially um, psoriasis and eczema. It means your gut's not healthy. Toxins have released out of your gut and body didn't know what to do with them. So it chose to, you know, flare, have a flare up of eczema or flare up of psoriasis. And acne is the same way. It's just your gut not being healthy. So someone who has those health issues, health concerns, they need the probiotic to help their gut get healthy, and the body cream is going to help also. Um, you know, some people love putting this hair in their product, because, or this product in their hair, because the number of oils that are in it, um, and it's actually going to help, um, you know, kind of... Um, soften your hair, be a conditioner for your hair. And some are using it as a deodorant because of the activated charcoal. I can tell you, I tried this, mm -mm, not, 
not enough for me. So I went back to a deodorant. Um, some people are doing it and they love it. Um, but our body cream, just, you know, make sure your customer knows because of the activated charcoal that it is gray. We are so used to the creams from, um, I worked for Macy's for many, many years. So we're used to the creams from like Lauder or Lancome or Clinique and they're white it's because those companies bleach them to get the creams white in color. So just know your, just make sure your customer knows if they buy this product that it is gray when they first pump it and it's okay. It's supposed to be gray. Um, our ease system, you know, it contains a, a, a blend of Adderall from the New, Inc, New Zealand Green Lipped Muscle, which is going to provide anti-inflammatory support. Um, the cream, the aloe, it, or the ease cream has aloe in it as an ingredient. What do we say aloe is? It's a carrier. So it's going to help carry those products. And because you usually on the cream put it exactly where you need it to be, it is going to take those ingredients right there very quickly to help ease some of the discomfort and pain that you may have. Now the Ease capsules, they contain glucosamine. Um, you know, we lots of people take an over-the-counter glucosamine. They also, what are awesome about the Ease capsules is they contain two enzymes. They contain serapeptase and they contain bromelain. Both of these enzymes help reduce inflammation. Now, we already said with the probiotic, because they have enzymes, they should be taken on an empty stomach. I also think that the Ease capsules should be taken on an empty stomach. Your body will do better with those enzymes if you take them on an empty stomach. A lot of people with arthritis, if they're taking Ease pills, you know, those enzymes will go find, you know, arthritis sometimes is the gut wasn't healthy, it leaked proteins out, and those proteins lodged in joints. That's what some arthritis pain is. So if we take Ease capsules on an empty stomach, those enzymes can go dissolve that protein that has leaked out and lodged itself in your body it'll go dissolve that protein and get rid of that pain and that discomfort. And therefore people are finding arthritis relief. Um, ease pills, you can take up to six a day. I take three in the morning, three at night when I take them. Um, some people do two, two and two, um, but I take them on an empty stomach. The nerve, I think this is one of our products that most people do not understand. And it's, as absolutely an amazing ingredient that's getting a lot of research right now. Um, nerve has a full dose of vitamin B, which is going to help you with energy and it's going to help nourish your nerves. It has horse chestnut and butcher's broom, which will help improve your circulation because when you have nerve damage, you need blood flow. You need oxygen to those nerves to help improve them. It has alpha lipoic acid. Same ingredient that we saw in Slim earlier, which is an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, which is going to help improve your nerve health. It has magnesium for muscle relaxation because when you have nerve damage, the muscles around that nerve have tensed up to protect that nerve. So it has magnesium, which is going to help calm those muscles. And this is the ingredient that's absolutely amazing, guys. It has acetyl L-carnitine. Acetyl L-carnitine is a super antioxidant that is actually showing to stimulate nerve growth and improve memory. There is research showing that it's currently being treated with all that's treating Alzheimer's disease and it's showing it's helping improve the mitochondrion. Okay. That's up here in your brain. It's, it's reviving some of that guys. Acetyl L-carnitine has been shown to improve nerve growth which is crazy. That's why people who have neuropathy are having success using nerve because of the acetyl L-carnitine. You can go research it yourself. It is crazy what these hospitals and research facilities are starting to see with the acetyl L-carnitine. So I think this product, I absolutely love this product and most people just don't get it because it's kind of like, it's got a whole bunch of stuff that we don't know much about. And so we're kind of like, yeah, we have nerve. It can help your back. Yeah, it can help a lot of stuff. You know, there's so many issues that we have that are nerve related that this product is just amazing for. And then this product, Mega X, um, you know, it's three, six, nine, five, and seven omega. So it's not just omega three. Um, research shows that three and six are gonna help, it's heart health and brain health. Omega-9, hey, it may reduce insulin resistance and it's going to increase your metabolism. Omega-5 helps with digestive health. 
Omega-7 helps with the burning of fat. So yes, we love omega-7. And then the one thing we love about Mega-X is it's plant-based. So no fishy burps, no yucky smell. Um, you know, you don't, I used to take fish oil and I had to leave them in the freezer because they smelled so bad. You know, this one, because it's plant-based, it's awesome. And so someone who has a fish allergy, you don't even have to worry about it. They can take this omega and they're getting more than just omega-3s. They're getting three, six, nine, five, and 7. And then that's all my product slides. Melanie, you've got, um, you have um, Edge there. I do. I have... Well, I haven't looked it up yet, but I can. I just have the actual bottle. Yeah, so Edge has, it's got three, three ingredients, which is cool, you know, so it's not yeah. a super complicated product. It's got caffeine in it, but it's natural caffeine. Right, the coffee robusta, and it's got the theocrine and L-theanine. There you go. Um, and the main thing with Edge, I mean, just here reading on the back of the bottle, it's healthy, sustained energy, sharper thinking, enhances concentration and focus, improves mood. And then the other thing with Edge is I've noticed that it seems like people need to take it with food. Wouldn't you think, Vicki? It seems like more people need food. I always recommend 20 grams of protein before they consume it. I do the same thing because it's so high in caffeine. Yes. Um, you know, and it's a product I cannot take every day. Um, right. I mean, I can take it probably every other day, but if I take it every day, I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I recommend that you take it after you eat protein breakfast or protein lunch. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And some people can only take half a pill because one is way too much. It depends on how caffeine sensitive your body is. Exactly. Yeah. But and yeah, it's a great it's, product. Some people, I know my husband loves it before the gym. He takes his slim and edge before the gym and it really helps his workout so oh yeah it is a true energizer bunny product <laughs> yeah and what are your thoughts on putting um i know some people do accelerator and edge i can't imagine doing both i know people have heard of that but i haven't I, recommended that so i was just curious i've heard of people saying yeah you could do it i actually have no one on my team that does i do both you do this is rachel can hey, you hear me melanie Hey, Rachel. Hey, I do both. I actually do one accelerator with breakfast, one accelerator with lunch, and an edge about 3.30. And I've not had any issues. Okay, and cool. So well, there question, you go, Vicki. We learn something new every day. Well, question for you, Rachel. Were you, are you a bit, or were you a big coffee drinker or a soda drinker? Um, two years ago before I started Plexus, I drank about 130 ounces of Diet Coke every day. <laughs> so at that time, yes. Um, when I started Plexus, I quit. I haven't had a Diet Coke in, I don't know, two and a half years probably. Um, I still drink my coffee more out of habit than anything. Um, three, maybe four days a week, just in the morning, a small coffee on the way to work, but not because I feel like I need it. It's more of, I like the flavor and it's a habit more than anything else. So Melanie, that's what I found. I found people that aren't as caffeine sensitive. I was never a coffee or a soda drinker. Um, so that's why I truly think one accelerator is enough Two is like way too much. And that's why I think I can't take edge every day because my body's like, what are you doing to me? Yeah. And I think the main thing is we just, you, everybody has such a different body chemistry that you yes. have to really find the regimen that works for you. And you know, you really have to listen to your customers and your wholesale ambassadors and check in on them and see how the regimen's going. See if you can tweak it. That's a huge part of our job. So. Oh, hands down, because our bodies are so different. So, guys, now that we're done with all the product slides, is there a question that I can answer for anyone? Let me check here and see if there's any put on there yet. Some people are asking for your PowerPoint. Would that be okay if you can oh, make it? Yeah, send email. me your email address, and I'll email it to you. And you know okay. what? Before I do that, I'll put Edge in there. Oh, you're so <laughs> sweet. Yeah, that's how, that sounds good. Yeah. Um, does anyone have any questions? Like, seriously, Vicki? I mean, this is so amazing. Like even just what you've gone over, it's just a good refresher, you know, and to review the products again. I mean, definitely. And I'm sure we have some newbies on tonight that weren't even sure of all of our products and what they do. So, um, very, it's very, really, 
Like, and you know great. what? Take one product and learn one product. I mean, that's what I tell my guys. I'm like, take one product and learn one product this week. You know, don't think you have to learn a product a day because that may just seem overwhelming. Learn one product this week. And do you have to know all the ingredients? No, you just have to know, hey, you know what? Nerve is going to help you because it has something that's going to regenerate nerve growth. Oh, okay. And it has something that's an anti-inflammatory. Oh, great. You know, you don't have to know what it's called. Just know kind of what it's going to do for your customer. Because most people aren't greens. Most people aren't going to care what the name is. They just want to know, oh, it's going to work. And you're going to go, yeah, it's going to help regenerate nerve growth. Or it could potentially help to regenerate nerve growth. Oh, okay, I'll try it. That's Speaking of it. nerve, Debbie's asking how many per day. You can take up to six. That's right. Okay. And I, I, three, like my husband struggles with back pain. So three in the morning, three at night. So I have a question. Do you have a lot of people, if they say they come to you and they have chronic back pain, what would be the first thing you would recommend? Um, slim and nerve. Okay. Cause I always wonder about doing the loading dose. So the ease in the nerve, I've heard that works really well too. So I was just curious. It, you know, it depends, you know, our ease is, um, you know, it's a product that's made to take Tylenol and Advil and Aleve out of the equation. Um, but my husband who has back pain, who was given, um, hydrocodone from the doctor, uh -huh. quit doing hydrocodone because it wasn't doing anything for him. And I gave him six nerve a day. And in two days he could tell a huge difference in his back. That's incredible. Because so you really like the nerve more than the ease as far as pain yeah okay awesome yeah. good to know yeah and then the slim obviously for the you know anti-inflammatory properties right like yeah. the lipoic acid awesome yeah. well because a lot of times the you know you're taking pain pills for nerve problems right all that's doing is keeping the pain away it's not fixing the problem and nerve is going to go in there and truly fix the problem right get to the root right awesome yeah. I know that's one of your favorites because I remember at boot camp, yeah. I was like, that's the product is, it's like the stepchild. Nobody ever, you know, thinks about nerve. Yeah. It's like so Lori Harrison is known for ProBio 5. Vicki Flanagan is going to be known for nerve. And then like, she's going to be known for nerve. I love it. You need nerve. You need nerve. <laughs> um, okay. So, and then uh, Carmen, Carmen, go ahead with your question. Yeah. You can go ahead and unmute yourself, Carmen. Okay. Hi. Hey. Uh, my friend Christine was writing me earlier. She um, has been taking the products consistently for six months and um, she's concerned because she said that she is having problems going every day. She can't get everything flowing. And so we told her to maybe up her bio cleanse. So she said that she went up to six and then got diarrhea. So then she scaled it back to four, but she said that she's honestly still just um, having digestive issues. Like she's either having diarrhea or she's bloated or she's constipated. And um, she's just trying to find a happy place. And so um, she gained or she lost 10 pounds and then gained seven back. So I just, I don't know if you've ever heard of anything like that. She's wondering if maybe she has some other health issues. I've, I've just never heard of it. And I don't know what advice to offer her because she's ready to give up and I don't want her to do that. Um, how many probiotics is she taking? Do you know? Um, I'm trying to see. I want to say that she um, went from two to four jump straight from two to four yeah and did all these issues start when she jumped from two to four i think that she was ha just doing two and then um let me see probiotics two at night and then i'm not really sure after that so find out um i can tell you jumping someone from two to four is super bad Okay. And, and guys, here's why. Um, and this came up on my team page. Like this lady found this chart on Pinterest and she posted it on our team page and went, oh, here's how we should be taking our probiotic. You know, week one, take one. Week two, take two. Week three, take three. Week four, take four. Well, I deleted the post out of my team page, right? I'm like, no, because your colon is not a smooth organ. It's very crinkly and wrinkled, right? So you can be taking two probio two pro you know i call them pbs the probio five you can be taking two and you're fine and then all of a sudden you're like what am i getting like die off I, what am i going what am i doing well because your colon isn't smooth and because it's all crinkly and as the it works through there the probiotic may find something that it needs to work on 
that it hasn't come across before. So that's why I'm wondering, when did all this start for her? When she jumped from two to four? It could be the probiotic is causing it, and we may need to back her back down to two probiotics. Okay. So find out. You can message me offline. Find out. All right. I we will. can work together and see what we can find. But that's why we want to go slow with that probiotic, guys, because your colon's not smooth. It's wrinkly. And as that probiotic is working through, you like my little hand signals? As yeah. it's working through there, yeah, it's going to find different stuff. And so somebody may be, you know, just fine, and then all of a sudden they're feeling really bad. And you're like, "What? wait, I haven't changed anything. Well, you didn't have to change anything. The probio found something new to work on. That is such good info. Yeah. Yeah. And also drinking their water. I feel like most people don't drink near enough water. Well, I think, I think we don't drink enough water. And then like if we're on plexus, we become really dedicated with our water. And then we start to lack off. We, you know, slack off of our water a little bit. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then Emily said, do you follow a chart when starting people on triplex? Um, yeah, I have one in my brain. I start them on slim. I start them on slim for two to three days. And if we are fine with slim, then I add bio cleanse first mm -hmm. because most people, even though I ask them if they poop or if they struggle with constipation, their answer is no, because they don't understand that we talk <gasps> poop, right? My <laughs> I love it. We talk poop all the time. And most people are, don't want to talk about that until they're into plexus. We don't talk poop. So I start BioClean. I start them on one for um, two to three days. And if they're poop, I tell them, hey, did you poop today? And if they say no, okay. Hey, did you poop today? No. Then I take them to two BioCleans. I get them to poop every day before I put them on one probiotic. Yep. And then once I put them on one probiotic, we wait almost like a, almost a week and a half that now we're taking slim bio cleanse and the probio five. And if everything seems to be good, then I'll take them up to two probio five, but they may have been on the probiotic about a week or two before I take them to two. And I'll leave them at two, probably four months before I ever jump them to three. That's good info. Now, I had one lady on my team. She decided she wanted to just do four probiotics at the same time, but she didn't tell me this. And she was fine. I was having a heart attack thinking, oh, my goodness, you've got to be, like, super sick. Um, but she was fine. You know, so once again, everybody's going to do it very different. You know, my girlfriend, when we jumped her from two to three, she got sick, sick, sick. And sick is in you have the flu, right? That's when somebody's going through die off with the probiotic, you feel like you have the flu, your body aches, you feel terrible. You can add a thousand milligrams of vitamin C um, to your routine. And um, I take a thousand milligrams of vitamin C every day, have for a million years. Um, but you know, if the, if the die off stays and you've up the uh, bio cleanse, you've up their water and the die off still stays guys back them back down on the probiotic. And sometimes you have to back them down, back down to one and work back up again. Okay. Let's see. They're saying, Rachel, I have one, but I'd love to see the one you use. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. That's great. It's the same up. one that it's the triplex. What she's talking about, Melanie, is that triplex schedule that I had that I edited because um, I didn't like the one that had them on four pro bios on week two. Oh, so yeah. I changed it oh, around. Yeah, no, but. yeah, I agree. It's too much. I mean, again, and I just, what I like to do is just really personalize each person because I really do feel like each person's so different and you really just should be in tune with them and make sure you're checking up on them. You know, not every day saying, are you feeling this? Are you feeling that? But just more like giving them some guidance. And I always make sure I tell people avoid artificial sweeteners um, as well. And I really, you know, make sure to talk to them about the water. And you know what? Let me tell you, I'm working with somebody right now who's dealing with infertility issues. Did you know candida yeast can create a false estrogen positive? Wow. What means? Now that seems very complicated. What that means is, when candida makes an S when it makes a false estrogen, your body thinks, Oh, it already has enough estrogen. So it doesn't release estrogen. So people who, str some people who struggle with infertility and guys, I was one. Okay. I have five kids. All five of them are adopted. My girl parts never worked. 
And I almost wonder if my issue was because I was a sweet tart aholic, like a box of sweet tarts a day. Mm -hmm. I almost wonder if my candida overgrowth issue created estrogen, a false estrogen that my real, my body didn't make estrogen. And therefore wow. I couldn't get pregnant. Don't know. I'm it's now so pregnant. common these days for so many people to struggle with getting yes. pregnant. Or if you have somebody who's struggling with infertility, we need to get them to four probiotics as quick as possible. So what is your, what's your reasoning with waiting four months before you go to three? I just, I found too many people feel terrible. Okay. And I just, I'd rather go slow. Right. So if they still are feeling pretty good though, you may go to three sooner than that. Just oh, yeah. depending on how yeah. they're doing. But, but yeah. warn them, you know, just warn yeah. them, Hey, we're going to jump you to three. But if you start feeling like you have the flu or achy right. or whatever, let me know. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. I just slow and steady. Yep. I know. I agree. <laughs> Absolutely. Cause we've been doing that. Yeah. I mean, cause I've been doing this two and a half years and have seen it all at this point, you know, yeah. Yeah. But I do know, I will say, and um, some people just, you tell them to go slow and they do what they want anyway. Like my OBGYN, she just took it all on the first day. And, you know, I'm like, you're not supposed to do that. I was just so um, she's Thursday go. night, I got a message. I started slim, the probiotic and the bio cleanse when I got home from work and I just threw it all up. I was like, oh no, what did you do? <laughs> I had a person do that and she quit. She said, it made me that sick. I can't take it. Yeah. I was like, you have to take it the way you're supposed to take it. My response was, girl, do you not follow directions? I told you to start one product. That was my response to her. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, you, you can only, yeah, you can only do what you can do. I, I mean, we yes. can suggest, but if they choose to do their whatever they want, they want. Yes. So Vicki, for PCOS, what do you tell people to take? Oh, PCOS, they need slim, they need block, and they need the ProBio 5. Okay, thank you. Yes. Why not BioCleanse? Um, okay. Well, okay. So we can do BioCleanse. I'm just, um, I think from a money standpoint, you could offer all four, but the top three would be Slim, the ProBio, and the Block. Do you pretty much always recommend ProBio 5 and BioCleanse together? I mean, if you're able to, I mean, do you treat them like, you know? I try to. Um, but, you know, I'm also somebody that um, my grandmother passed away from colon cancer because of all the laxatives she took because she struggled with constipation her whole life. And so, and it's probably how I present BioCleanse. It, it probably comes across as more of a laxative type of product. And so I have a lot of people that go, oh, I don't want that. And I'm like, no, 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 it's not a laxative. It's right. not, it's not, yeah. But I try very hard to pair the two of them together. But if they don't want it, I don't force it. Right. I don't force it at all. And I want to find my note really quick because I come across, and you guys may too, of people who don't want to eat breakfast. I'm not a breakfast eater. Anybody come across that? Oh, yeah. Okay, hang on. Let me tell you why you want to eat breakfast, okay? So, and here's why you should have protein first thing in the morning. Because protein stimulates glucagon, G-L-U-C-A-G-O-N, okay? Which is a hormone that retrieves fat out of storage. Now, who doesn't want fat retrieved out of storage first thing in the morning, okay? So that's why I say, I feel like I'm looking this way. I need to look this way. Um, so that's why you need to eat protein in the morning because it stimulates a hormone that's gonna go retrieve fat out of storage. Whereas if, you, if the first thing in your mouth is a carbohydrate, cereal, yogurt, bagel, stupid foods like that, then you signal insulin, which can cause your body to go into fat storing mode. So what do you want? Do you want your body to burn fat or store fat? You want protein or carbs for breakfast? There you go. Yeah, that's great info right there. <laughs> Love it. Makes me feel like I'm back in boot camp. Right? <laughs> right? I know. When you gave all those like amazing stats of that, I was like, oh, I got to get her on a training. Yes, it's awesome. Ten months later, here we are. I know, my little green brain. I get all excited. I love it. I know, yes, it's great. I want to share. Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome. Okay, there's one more question it looks like we have here in the chat. 
Um, Tanya said, I have an ambassador that's really struggling with energy. Edge only gets her through midday and night is draining. She is on Slim 2X Factor, 2 BioCleanse AM, 2 BioCleanse Afternoon, 3 ProBio. She is on an antidepressant that does cause drowsiness. Any advice? Okay, so do you think it, it may be that antidepressant? So here's what I, do you have her take an Edge? Midday. So like, is that lunchtime or is that around two or three? I would have her take another edge. She takes her edge like at 1030. Okay. And it gets her through the midday, but then the evenings she, it's, she's just draining. And she thinks part of it's part of the antidepressant, but she's just really struggling. So maybe, okay, so before she hits that draining phase, so would like three o'clock, four o'clock, maybe pop another one and see what she thinks. Can they take two edge? Sure. I didn't know that. Sure. Okay, I'll give her that advice. Thank I mean, you. it's got enough caffeine. It should get her through the day. But if it's not, try another mm -hmm. one. It's natural caffeine, which is totally different than synthetic caffeine. Your body gets rid of it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so try that. Thank you very much. All right. Anybody else? We're going to try to let her go soon because I know it's, you've been so sweet to give us your time, Vicki. Oh, no problem. In the evenings, I'm good. Like kids are in bed. I'm okay. I know, right? This is when we can work. It's right. been so, 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 so helpful. It's been a great call. So excited. Yay. Yes, I love it. love it. We're so excited. So yeah, I'm sure everybody's going to be asking for um, the PowerPoint. So, yeah, so just send me your email. Yeah, I'll, yeah. And then I'll upload it to the team page for everyone. Sounds Thank awesome. you, Vicky, so much for your time. Hey, I love you guys. Yeah, look forward to seeing you in Dallas. We're going to have such an amazing time. I know. Um, and we appreciate everything. And thank you so much for your knowledge. And look forward to seeing you this week. Cool. All, All right, guys. Thanks, everyone. Night. night. night.